to survive in this industry, this is actually what you need. And then if you get this understanding, you are going to be fine. I mean, if you're a biodigester constructor, most of the time you will get a call and a question will be asked, how much does your biodigester cost? Or how much does it cost to construct a biodigester? In my case, I'm going to do this video just to show you basically how much it costs to construct a biodigester and why that question should be answered not only based on the fact that the cost is what is involved, but also the pricing for your biodigester. If anybody should call and ask you how much your biodigester costs, the question they're actually asking you is how much do you price your biodigester? Or how much do you charge for your services when it comes to the biodigester construction? I'm going to try and break it down for you to understand how much it costs me in particular to construct a particular biodigester, in this case, the large family size biodigester, and how much I charge for that service. So, if a typical case I, I take is a job that I did recently quite close to my area, and then I had to do a soak away as well as the large family size biodigester. It was for a five bedroom house, and then the cost inclusive of everything that comes with it. I had to give the owner the pricing and then how much I will charge for that particular services. When you are talking about the cost of a biodigester, you are looking at the cost which includes what? The material cost, right? The materials you are going to use, your labor, the digging that is going to happen, how much you are charging for the digester, and then what again, maybe your transportation, right? I mean, it's also part of the, the cost that when if you are doing a calculation for somebody, you, you are supposed to include it in it. In my case, what it costs us to construct this biodigester is that we had to buy the blocks. We use the quarry dust blocks. We got 50 of them. We were doing a six, six feet by four, by four feet, a six feet by four feet digester. That's the size. And we we're doing the depth. Sometimes the depth depends on the level in terms of the gradient that you are coming from the house with. So it can be three feet. In this case, it was three feet. Sometimes it can be four feet, four coats of blocks, probably will give you like four feet. Then let's say in this case, we are considering six feet by four, and then the depth was going to be three feet. So we we're going to do the five inches, five inches solid block. We usually prefer the quarry dust blocks. So five inches solid very dust in any situation in any case there is a waterlog area or is clay or the ground is salty and then it does affect the type of block that you do use in that situation but quarry dust usually have been solidified and the square in it that has been mixed with the cement and it gives you an added advantage in terms of the block that you are using so that we don't even have to worry plastering the inside or doing all those stuff that you have to do if you're using your normal blocks because it can easily break and then the cement, we're using three bags. We are using one bag for the top slab. So six by four. If you are doing a six by four digester, you are looking at it from this point, whereby you have to do the top slab in such a way that one can be four feet and then the other can be two feet. Or you can do it. So let's say you can do it two feet and then four feet. For the large part so in case you have an issue and you are supposed to come and open the digester then you are opening it just to what see the inside so you put a, a clean out here and then maybe the handle can also be here just to pull it and see how the digester inside is going to look like right or you can equally do it three feet by three i mean there's no real science to this one or two you can do it two feet two feet two feet you can divide them into three parts so that it will be easy for you to lift them and put them on top of the digester. And then we're using iron rods. We're using the iron rods. We're using the 12 mm. 12 mm. Four. And then we are going to use the binding wire. I mean, binding wire that you are going to use to tie the iron rods. When you cut them, you are going to have to tie them together and then use them as the base for which the concrete or the mortar will be added to it. And then we're going to use the wire mesh as well. 
the wire mesh we are using is the coated one it's simply for inside slab so in terms of the plumbing materials that we need we need a, a four inch pipe need one because then you leave the outlet for the plumber to come and connect it to the connect all the house the pipes from the house into the digester and then you need an end cap four inches end caps right so in our case we need a tray and then we needed uh, a clean out the four inches one because that's what will go on the top slab and then it can easily be assessed anytime you want to have a look inside the digester to see whether everything is working well you can open it and have a look inside you need a black rubber in the polythene one the one that they use for construction when you are casting the top slabs and then the porous slabs you will need to lay them on a smooth surface and then you put the rubber there before the two we have the bulky material which includes some of the material that you need for the biodegradation right so you have your bulky material that you add to your cost in terms of the material cost then you can depending whether you're doing some filtration let's say you're doing enhanced filtration you're using bulky material bulky material and then you can do your biodegradation material your biodegradation material as well and then your bio enzyme depending on the situation that you meet there I've always advised you can do it without the bio enzyme but there are situations whereby it's best you have enzyme as well and then you add it to your cost so it's best when you are costing your bio digester add the bio enzyme cost the amount that you're going to use whether 600 milligram or how many grams you are going to use do add the cost to your bio digester cost so that you can have a smooth understanding with the homeowner and then you can do that cost you can do your transportation cost depending on the location and the area in which you are going to have the work done your transportation might be 300 get the blocks in the truck you have to get the either the buboya or the aboso camacho there's those ones that they use that to transportation let's say 400 cities for your transportation and then your labor in our case we say our labor is 500 cities that's for the digging and for the maybe the the mason that will do the work so that's the labor for us. So when I finished with my calculation, what I got in terms of the cost of the bio digester is 3,200. So that's how much it cost me to construct one bio digester, one family size bio digester, 3,200. But if you do your costing based on this thing, you are not going to be in business for long. There's a cost which the homeowner is asking you and the price in which you price your biodigester. So the cost for the digester is different from the pricing of the biodigester. So when somebody asks you how much does it cost to control a biodigester, what they are asking you actually is how much do you charge for your biodigester construction. So in our case, if we, we do the pricing of the biodigester simply by the cost in which the homeowner is asking for, then we are not in business. Our business will collapse within the next, not even one month. We are only pricing the biodigester by the material cost and the labor that is involved in the construction of the biodigester. And if you do like that, believe me, it won't be long before you are looking for another work. You are leaving us and going to another thing. So please learn it this way. The cost of the biodigester is different from the price of the biodigester. So usually we say that price is what? Price is what the customer or the client is willing to pay. And that's based on the fact that you have done your whole background work and know that if I price my buy digester at this, at this rate, I'm going to get work to do. And then if I do my calculation based on the cost, how much should I add to it to ensure that tomorrow, if there's an issue with the buy digester and the homeowner calls me, I'm not going to run away, which is what exactly most of the guys are doing now. When you call them and there's a problem with the buy digester, they won't come because then they cannot ask you for transport to come to inspect the buy digester that they have done and it's 40 you have to repair it but if you do prices in such a way that you do have something small to keep as your markup then that one can go back into your business and you can be saved somewhere and if there's an issue you are always in business because then obviously you're making profit at dream house buy digesters we do add the cost to the price of the buy digester so if somebody called me and they asked me and i tell them this is what my buy digester cost they say it's expensive because then they've got to somebody else and the person is only giving them the cost in terms of material cost and transportation, they don't even have transportation. In terms of the material cost, it's what they are adding, and then that's what they are giving the homeowner. So it's important you learn this 
this is very key for your business to survive in this industry this is actually what you need and then if you get this understanding you are going to be fine you can also go ahead and leave a comment if you like this video give it a thumbs up so the others can also see it and then they can be part of this buy the guest community that we are trying to form so our markup will be coming from our sale price minus the cost which we done earlier and we'll divide that number by the unit cost and then multiply it by 100 and that's what will give us the markup so in our case our sale price for the from this island is 4,000 cities right and then we take out our our cost price which is what 3,200 and then the amount that we take we get from this is what we are going to use to, to determine our markup so we are going to get what 800 cities right and then we we'll divide it by what 3200 what we'll get will be the percentage of our markup so 4000 minus 3200 which is 800 divided by the unit cost 3200 again multiplied by 100 we're getting 800 Ghana cities as the difference between the cost and then our sale price and then we are going to divide this same amount which is 800 by the unit cost of each product which is the buy that that we do construct in terms of the family size large one we are going to divide it by the amount which is 3200 we are going to get what 0 0.25 so we are looking for the percentage term it means that we have to multiply it by what so we multiply it by 100 our markup on it digester is 25 percent which is not good in business if you are in business and your markup is 25 percent eh, but it's okay but it's not bad so basically this is the cost and the price of each biodigester if you are going to construct one biodigester and this is how we do it don't forget the biodigester cost and pricing are different it's not only the cost that we are talking about we are also talking about pricing the transportation that are added to it is not even for me because probably i come there today i did the inspection earlier for you i came i gave you some advice on where to place the digester and then we did the digester after the digester was done the plumber said he didn't get how we did it so i should come back again i have to pick another car and go there explain to him where to put the pipes the plumber will say no no i can't do it so when i bring my the pipes all the way to the place you should come and do what and punch the digester and put the pipes in it all those costs you cannot quantify it and then you cannot tell the homeowner ahead so you do have a markup which you put on your digester and that will cover all those issues that you are dealing with